Hi, in this video I will show you how to use the creator software by Materialize. I'm going to show you how to import a part, transform it, translate it, move it, and rotate it. I'm going to show you some cool features of the creator software, and during the video I will explain how the user interface works. So let's start with importing a part. I'm going to import the famous tree frog. As you can see, the model is added to the right side of the screen. And now I want to pla place it and move it. So I'm going to click Transform on the top of the screen. And as you can see, the Creator software has an auto-placement feature. So I'm going to click Apply, and the settings are applied. But actually, I don't really want it in the corner so I'm gonna click move and here you can see that it has three arrows Z Y and X and you can drag the arrows to move it in that direction so I'm gonna drag the X and then drag the Y I'm gonna put it almost in the middle of the bed um, the next is that you can rotate of course if you click rotate you can see three circles in the axis you can rotate it if you want to rotate it in the Y or on the Z axis or on the X that's all possible now my model is a little bit weirdly placed so there's a really cool feature of the creator and that is lay flat um, I'm going to click the feature and you can see that I can select a plane here on my model so I can click it it becomes green so this plane is selected and I can say that okay this plane is going to be the bottom plane and I want to make sure that it is on the bottom of the plate so I translate the Z to zero and I'm going to apply it and as you can see it moves it automatically to the bottom of the plate so that's a really nice feature if you want it if you know your plane that needs to be the bottom of your model you don't have to really rotate it 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 can move it on its own the next feature is scaling I want a bigger frog so I'm gonna scale it to 200% uniformly I press enter same as apply as you can see the model is now scaled with my right mouse I can move camera around and as you can see the bed has namings on the sides so this is the front this is the left the back and the right side so a little bit more about this 3d interface we have my frog here and I can click this button and it will zoom in exactly on my frog and here on the top I can do some wireframing or I can see the vertices and all the triangles, the mesh that it's built up from and then I can go back and just have the normal view the last uh, transform option is the duplicate option it kind of speaks for itself, I want an extra part I want it along the x-axis press apply and as you can see it just copied the part next to my frog there are two frogs right now and there's an additional frog in my part list um, so I'm going to delete this frog because I only want to print one so we're back with one frog and then in this part list there is a neat feature that you, that you can use and that you need to use first of all we can press the information and there's all these kind of information on the part amount of triangles, vertices but it also shows an analysis of the part if there are inverted normals or bad edges <coughs> and how many shells it creates so it's one shell so it's a really useful information clicking it again will just remove it you can press the eye to remove to remove it just from view in the 3D printing and of course the X will remove the part which I don't want and then there's two colors here these two colors 
um, they depict the left and the right nozzle. Um, you can set the colors yourself, but here you can say, okay, I want to print this frog with the left nozzle. So I press yellow, which is the left nozzle, the bottom one, and now I instructed the creator app that I want to, this part to be printed with the left nozzle. You can switch here, and so you can set multiple parts with different nozzles. So we kind of did the whole uh, transforming and moving. And here we can have some move around again from the front and the back. It's pretty standard from the top view. And here you can show if there are bad edges. Well, this model doesn't have any, so we can't see anyone right now. So the next thing I want to do is I want to print this model. I'm satisfied with how I've placed it on my bed. So I'm going to click print. There's two options. I can export it to a file or I can send it to the printer. But at the moment you can see that I don't really have any options at all at materials or slicing strategies. Well that's because I've just installed this software and uh, we need to update the profile. So what we do is we click edit profiles, it's the little gear next to connect and it will give the profile editor. And as we can see there are updates for the profiles, it's version 0 right now, but if I press uh, update profile it will update it to the internet and I will get the latest settings for my HFs. So here you can see I've updated, I clicked it, I have a profile version 14 and now I have all kinds of strategies I can use on my profiles. So I press OK and here we can see that now I can select ABS or PLA. So now I've selected the left nozzle or I mean the right nozzle. And I select PLA and I want to print the part. And I can start printing when I'm connected to the machine. Um, I will go in, into depth of all these settings into the next video. Um, this is just the workflow of the Creator app. And in the next video I will explain all the different kind of settings and special features of the creator profiles. Thank you for watching and um, happy printing.